Hi there and welcome back. Today we will be installing Java or JDK on Mac OS. Let's jump right into it. Um, to install Java on Mac OS, just go to Google and search for Java JDK. I like to use the Oracle Java, just click on that. And then when you, as soon as you go to the page, the download page, you would see various versions of Java that are available for download for this purpose will be using 21. And then you click on the Mac OS tab and depending on your processor, you choose which one suits you. But for me, I will be downloading the 64-bit DMG installer, which I already downloaded. And the next thing is just double clicking on it. And then install and then click the continue button use the all the defaults and then click on the install it will ask you for your password supply your password as needed and then you're good to go it's been installed. You can decide to either keep or move it to trash. For me, I do not need it anymore, so I just move it to trash. All right. And then from there, we need to set our environment variable, which is very, very important. And so to do that, first of all, let's confirm that Java is installed by doing Java version. Yes. So we now have Java 21 installed, but we need to set our environment variable. How do you do that? First of all, let's look for the path where Java is being installed. How do you do that? You do the forward slash user, usr lib exec Java underscore home. So you should see the path here. Good. So let's copy this path. And just keep it and then from there the next thing to do is to update your um, batch profile and you can do that by doing nano dot bash underscore profile all right so to add your variable your environment variable for java you just need to do an export in Java underscore home. Then we paste in the parts to our install Java. And then you save this and then exit this. Good. So we need to refresh that particular source file because if we do not that you're not you will not be able to get um you will not be able to see your exposed um variable parts if you want to confirm that we can do an echo and then we do a java home and see if it shows no so what we need to do is just do a source let's do small letters and then we then refresh the batch file and then if we do this again if we echo the java home we should be able to see our jdk voila there you go so we're good to go to use the java that we've just installed once again i'm so excited to be your instructor please subscribe leave your comment click the notification button so that you'll be able to see our new videos and most importantly share with your friends thank you and see you in the next video